Hi everyone, this is Heather Lottenen from the Flourish Academy. This is episode 492. Today we're talking about pricing, specifically digital files. I had a client reach out to me yesterday and ask me what they should charge their studio, what they should charge for a single digital file. No, you might not like my answer. Okay, let's let's say that I never answer that question because I can't. There are too many variables involved. I need to know things like, what type of photography do you do? Are there packages? Are you front loaded? Are you back loaded? Where do you make your money? Do you care if the file walks out of the door? What about sales? There are a lot of questions involved with how much you should charge for your digital files. I will say to start this conversation that I primarily work with wedding and portrait photographers. So families, pets, portraits, weddings. This doesn't always make sense if you are a commercial photographer or if you photograph sports where you are dependent upon high volume because it's a, difference, it's a difference between selling packages and selling files just to a single person who was part of a larger event. So we're gonna start off by talking about portraits and weddings. So like any good businesswoman, I took this question to Instagram yesterday and I asked on my Instagram stories, hey, what do you guys charge for a single digital file? I don't think, let me preface this by saying that there's a right or wrong answer here. I think it's just a different choice. However, some of these are going to be obviously more profitable than others. So I have my laptop in front of you so I can share with you all the varying results to this question. So we have $50, this is for one single digital file was the question. We have $50, $100, $30 for one, $50, $50 for images above session packages, $215, I do not sell single digital files unless purchased with wall art. Now that's actually really smart because what she's saying is she values the products and I happen to know that Jess does in-person sales. She values products and sales over the files and they can't even purchase a single file unless they already have a package, which is pretty smart. Then we have, I've never sold a picture, but this is a great question, thank you. $150 flat right for an entire album, so I think she means for all of the digital files, so she probably does not sell them just singly, singly, <laughs> singularly. She probably just doesn't sell one, probably not. <laughs> okay, we have $25 for one, here's another $100 for one, $50. That was on Instagram. Oh, wait, sorry, sorry, sorry. I missed a few. No single files. $1,000 for a pack of five fully retouched for the best, up to $2,500 for the best gallery images. Okay, this is my friend Taryn in San Diego. So catch this. $1,000 for five fully retouched images or $2,500 for all the best gallery images. I'm not sure how many she delivers total, but I bet it's between 20 and 30, maybe upwards of 40, but I doubt it. Isn't that interesting? Um, oh, here's Jess again. She says she sells the collections ranging from a thousand to $2,000 and then it's $215 but she doesn't sell single digital files unless they're purchased with a wall art or an album. Okay, then over on, I got some replies to this on Facebook as well. Each additional, I have, I have a set package for digitals, but each additional after the package is purchased is $25 or $500 for all files up to 10. And then we have someone who does $15 for one digital file. If it's an event, that is a ton of photos. $30 for a sports package. Now I'm not sure about this, but I am guessing that these files are for events where she sells high volume because that's the only way that would make sense. So what is the correct answer to this question? You guys, there is no correct answer. It depends on your business model. It depends, I always say that at the Flourish Academy, we're all about the lifestyle business. It depends on how you have established your business and your pricing and where you make your, oh yes, yeah, she says high volume. She's watching. Thank you so much, Athena. Thank you for chiming in. So, okay, if you go to an event 
and you are selling to one person, there are multiple people at these events, right? But one person would be looking at your gallery and then purchasing a file or maybe a print, then it probably makes sense to have a lower dollar amount on that file because those people typically aren't gonna spend a lot of money. But if you're talking about your packages as a portrait or wedding photographer, this is completely different. And I personally would not recommend selling single digital files unless you have it structured beyond your packages, meaning it's available after a set number of either products or maybe a set a set price point after they pass a certain price point or a certain collection, then they have the option to purchase additional files. Now at that point, as a portrait photographer, whether you do it as one file or many files is up to you. Personally, I like to keep things really simple. So I would say, here's the collection you purchase, and then if you'd like to add on the digitals after you've purchased the collection, then here's the amount for all of the digitals. Although I do like the way Taryn has it. She, let me go back to that one. She had it for $1,000 for five fully retouched, 2,500 for all of them. And it sounds to me like she's saying that, that that is actually, it sounds like a collection or a package, a digital collection. Uh, I'm wondering if she has a different price if you are adding on to a collection. Here's the bottom line. Do you wanna be profitable? You have to, I mean, seriously, you have to answer that question. And then what is it gonna take to be profitable? Understanding that when those files walk out the door, you are losing all potential sales on any print orders because they now have their files. If that's part of your model, which it was part of my model for years and it worked great, then it's no problem. But I charged a significant fee up front to include those files because I knew I was not relying on back-end sales. Again, portrait and wedding photographer, that makes sense. But if you're talking about a sports or event photographer where you're selling files just kind of one off to random people that attended that event, it probably makes sense to have it lower. Okay, so where were we? We were saying, what do you price it at? You have to ask yourself, do you wanna be profitable? How do you wanna structure selling these files? What makes sense for you? What makes sense for your clients? You guys, I will say it till I am blue in the face. There is no right or wrong answer here. There's just a different choice. Now, if you come to me, number one, if you come to me and say, what should my pricing be? I'm never going to answer that question. I am going to fire back about five to 10 questions to get you to determine your pricing. But if you came to me with your pricing and you said, what do you think of this pricing? I'd first ask you, do you wanna be profitable? Let's, let's run the numbers, let's look at the math. I am incredibly scientific when it comes to this. Just ask the people in my pricing for profitability course. I'm kind of a nut about it. I like to look at the numbers and determine, is this profitable? And if the answer is yes, and that's what you're going for, then there you go, you have your answer. If it's not profitable, and you wanna make it profitable, then we need to make some changes. But just to say, hey, what should I charge for one digital file? The short answer to that question is, I don't know. I hope that you found this useful. I'll see you in the next video.